So this is our resource called Ngamata o Te Marama, or the phases of the moon. Now this resource shows the traditional hand actions that were applied to the different phases of the moon during the month. Now there are 30 hand actions and they're actually broken out into groupings. And if you'd listened to the uh, waiata or the song before, and you'll listen to the drum beat in there, it will give you an indication of the different segments of the phases of the moon and how you grouped them together to give you your timing. And so the first hand action stands alone. It's a single hand action and it's for the new moon. It's fetal. So fetal is like this. These are, this is a hand action, it's completely dark. And what happens is fetal or the new moon rises in front of the sun and it peers itself over the horizon. So this hand action is in front of your face and you are fetal. Then there'll be a beat of four on the drum. So it goes. And that's uh, the four nights that precede uh, or follow on after fetal. Tiria, hoata, oenuku and okoro. Now there's just a little sliver of light, just a little bit of light that will slowly increase across the face of the moon during this period, hence this hand action. So it's tiria hoata, o uenuku, and oko. Then you will hear another four beats on the drum. And these four beats uh, denote the phase of, tango, of tamatea. Tamatea uh, in the lunar calendar that I have is four phases and tamatea uh, uh, from what I understand is very associated to the oceans and is actually talks about how the oceans tune themselves inside out and clean themselves out and so from this hand action here you'll actually turn into tamatea so you say tamatea ayo so you'll see inside of your hand there is just the slither or a kind of a bit of a crescent shape on the moon Tamatea Ayo, it's getting bigger, Tamatea Nana, then you come to the quarter moon, Tamatea Kayariki, Tamatea Tuhaha. So those are the four phases of Tamatea, and you are just past the quarter moon on the last one. Then there are six beats. These six beats run into the six, the next six lunar phases, and they are a period where the lunar phase is not in the best condition or the environment is kind of shutting down. So they are ariroa. Ariroa is a kind of a veil. Ariroa. Then huna. Everything hides. Huna. Then for one night it opens up into mafaru. Then it comes back down again into a big moon, but it's closing on the environment. Ohua. Then atua whakahaehae. Atua whakahaehae is like a terrifying demon. It's not the best time. So hence you've got the claws of the demon, atua whakaaihai, then oturu. Oturu looks like the new moon, but it's uh, full moon, sorry, but it's not completely full. Then there's a beat of four. Rako nui. Here it is here. There's Rako nui, because you can see the whole of the tree that Rona is holding on to as she was hauled into the sky by the moon. Rako nui. Then from here, the moon begins to wane, and it always goes from left to right, as you're looking at it. Rako matohi. Takiro, the multitudes. Takiro. And oike is that fourth period, and that's when you give thanks to the environment for all of the things that you've received across the previous three days. Oike. So you're saying thank you, and you're offering back to the environment. Then there's three beats. These are the nights of kore kore. So there's not a lot happening in the environment. Kore kore, tuatahi, kore kore, rawea, kore kore, whakapiri. So there's not a lot happening in the environment and it begins to shut down before it launches into the most productive time of the lunar calendar, according to my calendar system, where we celebrate the Māori gods. The first, there are six uh, nights here, the first four, are dedicated to the god of the ocean and water ways, which is Tangaroa, and it's in the last quarter. Tangaroa Amua, Tangaroa Aroto, Tangaroa Fakapau, Tangaroa Fariki uh, Kio Kio. And you're actually watching the dark side of the moon come over the light side of the moon. So 
it's getting uh, past the quarter, into the quarter, getting smaller and smaller. So those are tamarua, then otani. Otani is like this because it's a tree. Otani, and then oromo. <clears throat> oromo is like this because it's actually the mounds of the gardens. The rows of the gardens where you grow your food. Oromo. Then there are two beats as the lunar calendar shuts down before you get into the next month. And it goes <clears throat> omutu. So everything's coming together and ending. Mutu whenua. Everything crashes back down into the earth and shuts before you move into the next month and fiddle. Now the beat of the song matches the beat that we have for the lunar months. So many of you will know Te tahi o pipiri, te rua o takurua, te toru heri o pipiri, te wha o mahuru, te rima o kopu, te ono o whitia, no, no, we. Fiiro, tiria, hoata, o enuku o koro. So it actually is the same rhythm. So you sing actually the first waiata of the months, and then you go into the beat and sing the waiata for the lunar phases. So, uh, as an example, the last end goes uh, Ngā huruma tahi o pai, ngā whawha te ngā huruma rua o hakihara tua Tahi wehe wehe, ruha nui, te tau toru nui o matariki e Ngā mata o te marama, o whiro Tiria hoata and the beauty about this beat and the rhythm and the hand actions is at the end of the waiata for the months and the hand actions and the waiata for the lunar phases and the hand actions, you'll actually say, so today we are fido o te tahi o pipiri. Or you might be rākau nui o uh, te waru o rehua. So you will be able to give the hand actions of the lunar phase that you're in as well as the lunar month and here is a uh, poster that we have with the different moon phases the hand actions as uh, they are uh, seen by a person looking at you and also the darker side that's what you see of the hand actions in front of your face also with a QR code when you can go on and have a look at the actual um, waiata itself and the explanations. Tēnā